think this match has got promise. Lorraine Hyde has been improving a lot over the last two or three years. Yeah, I think uh, Tori's got a lot of respect for first us. Set, uh, first Lorraine, set, first set. What, what do you make of Tori? First. And she said, well, Game you on. don't get to be Australian number one by accident. So I know I've got a real battle on here. Nice technician is Lorraine Hyde. You can see from that 83. very graceful action. But she's up against a firecracker in Tori Kewish, a young lady I've known for quite a few years and 23 WDF or BDO ranked tournament wins. Real bubbly personality, isn't she? Life and soul of every party she attends. She's a great person to be around. I don't know anybody who doesn't get along with her because she's just so much fun. 26. See how she settles into this match. I think both of them, understandably, very nervous about going up here onto the Lakeside stage. Tori, who played uh, when the BDO championship was played at the O2 at the Indigo Arena. 62. Up here now, though, a little bit different here and somewhere which, of course, she's seen on television, this iconic venue. And it's not to be underestimated what that mentally 41. puts on the players going up there for the first time. Yeah, it's a huge thing. I can't say what it's like because I've never played on that stage. But I can say from what I've heard from players who have been up there, it's daunting. You can 41. still have a go. It'd be quite nice to commentate on you. I'll do my best. Here comes the asset. Is he going to behave himself today? 83. We shall see. Adrenaline does funny things to me. And Tori is definitely an adrenaline player. You can see at the back of the stage there, ruffling those shoulders. 60. Just waiting for a turn. She is, like I said, a bit of a firecracker. She is a lover of competition, John. She loves to compete. Uh, both, 41. Uh, just looking a, a wee bit nervous. Tori having that 100, that century on her second visit. And uh, 137. Oh, that's, that's Lorraine's best visit so far. This Gets is against through. the darts for the Aussie though. It's a good chance to break through in leg one. 60. Lorraine, you require well, maybe 92. Not 92 now. Two darts opportunity for Hyde. Treble 17 would leave double eight. 17 would leave the bullseye. It's double eight. Game oh, shot on the quality. first leg. That is Lorraine quality. High. Silky smooth. Second leg, it's Tory to From throw high. Terrific stuff. Beautiful checkout. And that certainly will settle her 60. right into the match. Got a mum watching on in the audience, a sister and a load of mates. You saw those Scottish flags being fluttered around and there's plenty 100. of support for her there giving her uh, plenty of vocal encouragement when she made her way out towards the stage on the walk-on. We've got to see at this juncture, John, that the shirt worn by Tori Kewish has a lot of meaning today. It's something she has designed herself with some help because on one of the sleeves, 99. she has a handprint in memoriam to her friend and our friend, Kyle Anderson, who sadly died last year. Great dog player, fantastic human being. And that 180 is very reminiscent of Kyle. You see that handprint on the right sleeve with Kyle's initials on it. He's a lovely man, Kyle. It was the first nine daughter that I commentated on on television. I'd waited goodness knows how many years, and Kyle finally produced it for me. And when I told him, I think he was almost as happy as I was. He was just, I mean, he was obviously a bully and anyway, 48. having done it. But to know that it sort of had that kind of significance for me personally, he was genuinely delighted. I thought, good on you, mate. Yeah, it was a good nine daughter against Michael Van Gerwen in the European Championship. One championship, he had a really good chance Sorry, of winning. you require 170. So 170 required for the hold of throw, and it's not going to be. So Lorraine Hyde nicely placed 86. here for a potential Lorraine, break of throw. 102. Talk us through it. Here's the 60. Possibly a 10 here. Six will be fine for double 18. Well, she 70. goes to double 16 eventually. Not on purpose. Sorry, you require 84. Yeah, I don't think she was intending that six. 
She was looking for the 10. Treble 14 would have left double 11, but now it's Bull. Game and gets it. The second Sorry, well, Jewish. the game, the Third match the is to starting first. to come alive. Bit of fire from Tory. Love to see that. And these two get on so well. They are good friends. But that's forgotten for the next hour. They were side by side in the practice room. You know, chatting and joking and talking. There was no sense of phony animosity in the run-up to the match. 58. I was I talking I'm to them right. earlier, John, and they just don't see the point in it. No, and they're, they're both of them just said, we want to go up there and show how well we can play. And we're seeing so far two very 100. capable dart players. Now, Tory, you may think that there's a, a lot being written about Corinne Hammond, of course, who's made the move over to England 85. to further her career and her life, but... When Corinne came over to England, Tory took the mantle as the person to beat in the ladies' game back in Oceania. 123. She's racked up all of those titles, but there's one performance that really sticks out for me. She went to a soft tip event in Hong Kong when I was there myself, and she made the quarterfinals 41. of that tournament, John. That was a mixed event. She took out world-ranked men on the way to the quarterfinals. And that didn't get anywhere near the publicity it deserved. Well, she's got a great chance. 59. Of uh, moving on in this tournament, maybe. But Laura Hyde, 59. It's not put her on a finish. Kuish could do with a big hit here. Another treble at aid the course. 125. Well, like a nickname, TKO. Oh, right. Talking my language. <laughs> well, when you've got initials of TK, it doesn't... Take too much 100. imagination to get TKO on the back of your shirt. 78 required. Oh, dear. But she'll come back. Got another visit 40. because Kuish a long Lorraine way back. Lorraine requires 78. The one thing I'm seeing from Lorraine Hyde so far is good poise. Just taking her time and staying in a lovely rhythm. Tops. 38. Not there, but still a Sorry, fine try. Require 152. 152 required. No finish now, so a chance of the hold of throw to get a nose ahead once again for Lorraine. Lorraine, you require 40. Tops it is for 2 1. Try and hit the barrel to cushion it underneath. Not enough in the air. But Game double tennis found third, very polished. Lorraine Hyde. Full flag, it's Tory to throw first. So the advantage lies with Lorraine Hyde in this opening set as a result of winning the right 60. to go first, having the throw in the opening leg. And it's back on throw now. And Lorraine, as a result of that, having the advantage. 100. Had a little bit of banter with Lorraine and some of her friends on Friday night before everything got underway yesterday, and we were talking about how much she looks like famous 57. WWE superstar Becky Lynch. Well, Lorraine will be hoping that she does better than Becky Lynch from WrestleMania last night because Becky lost her titles. I'm always mystified by your 60. interest in wrestling. You, you do know it's all a, a total fix, don't you? I absolutely do. And yet you still watch it and enjoy it. Complete escapism. And, you know, we have a, a really good way of getting it in on our coverage today because she really does look like Becky Lynch. How old are you? 42. <laughs> <laughs> I was once 21. <laughs> you were once 12. 41. Anagram of. <laughs> Meanwhile, back to the match. In hand. 55. And Kuish moving along in a powerful position in this leg, which she has to win to keep this first set alive. There will be a break after this first set. Doesn't matter that Tory's on a bogey number. 43. Lorraine is a fair bit behind, so a nice setup here. Just leave a two daughter. Or something better would be nice. You might have to use the 19s eventually, and should. Oh, 49. Couldn't find, the couldn't find the treble that she wanted. But 110 isn't the worst leave. It'll depend on what Lorraine does here. And she's not getting trebles, so no pressure being applied. 100. Until now. 
Tori, you require 140. 140, the graphic there incorrect. She needs 140. So now double 10 required. 130. Great effort. Lorraine, you require 157. Eighty-five. Double five. It's not the worst double for Tori this Tory one, John, because the darts do stand up. Well, let's have a look, see if she can get this one right. This should be a decent marker. Game shot on the fourth to be Tori and so it goes down to the decider for this opening set. Tori, this first. was going to be Game on. a close match. Hyde averaging 76, Kuish 74, and nothing between them in legs. Two apiece. This one decides the opening set. 100. Good competitive match, this one. We talked about Lorraine Hyde's career a little bit, but Tori Kiewisch with those 23 big tournament wins. You talk about the quality of 41. some of those wins as well. The Australian Grandmasters, which is hosted in Canberra, she's won that once. She's won the Australian Masters, which is hosted in Geelong, three times, and she's won it three 41. times in a row in 2017, 18, and 19. They are two of the biggest tournaments in the Southern Hemisphere. She's a Melbourne lass, for those who want to know. Proud of her home city. 140! That should be more an example of what she can do. Beautiful city. I am going to say that because I lived there for years. Likes a footy, does Tory. Like I said in 60. the previous match where John Desmond remote came through, Tory is at a bit of a juncture right now as to whether she wants to continue to play darts at the highest level or continue to play Australian rules football 100. in the future. She's a good forward, apparently. Those of us who've been here for a little while maybe watched Ian Jones win that match against David Cameron earlier on, and we were speculating 26. as a man from the black country where his football allegiance would be, and he said to me, well, I won't try and do the accent, but he said, I nearly did, and I'm just going to make a fool of myself. And he said, there's only one team in the West Midlands, I'm a baggy, and they're 16. playing this afternoon against Birmingham, and I needed to get the match finished because we're going to go and find it. Fair enough. Well, yesterday, the punk, Johnny Haynes, he wanted to get his done pretty quickly because he was going to a gig last night. Really? So you require 160. 160, then, for the set. Needed another treble, obviously. 81. But she's in a good position. The second dart didn't hurt, but the third did. Now it's going to be treble to double combination as opposed to single 60. to double combination. So Tori requires 79. 19 probably where she's aiming for starters. Now 20 for tops. This to take the opening set. 39. Lorraine Hyde breathes again. Lorraine, you require 154. Big ask. We've got some nervy Scottish supporters in the crowd there. It's not going to go this time. 44. Tops might this time for Tory to take a one Tory set you advantage into the break. Composes herself. Double ten now. Oh, double five. Oh, Thirty-five up by a distance, and she's not happy, as you can see. Four set dart. Lorraine, you require one hundred and ten. A little bit of a lifeline for the marginal favourite in this game. Treble eighteen, surely. She throws very heavy darts. Does Lorraine twenty-eight grams? It's about six grams over the 42. average that you'd find on tour. But Tori, who has missed Tory, multiple efforts five. for the set. It's got to find the single first. And Does. she's got it. So double two. Game shot and that the first means that the Australian Tory takes Kewish. the opening career. And now how she's going to take first this leg. Tory to throw first. WGA World Darts Championship. If we're going to rack up how many ranking titles Dita's got, we might be here all day with the Abacus. 24. It's a vast number. Yeah, I think she's won more titles around the world than Phil Taylor. Which is quite the achievement. Not quite had the financial Easy remuneration fire. that Phil Taylor had. No. And what Richard Ashton was saying in the break with our host Lindsay was very apt because a big mission for the WDF in putting this championship on was to not only bring more ladies into this championship from different parts of the world, but to finally 
raise that prize money to a respectable 41. level. 25,000 now for the winner of the women's tournament here. Not too long ago, it was it was five grand, wasn't it? Yeah. 44. Too little. You look at someone like Trina Gulliver, who's won this title ten times. Didn't get anywhere near the amount of remuneration that she deserved. But she did get an MBA, which was thoroughly deserved for the greatest female player of all time. Well, Hyde's come back well from the break here. 43. Moves ahead and in with a great chance of perhaps picking up an early break in this set, a set that she has to win to keep the match alive. 97. Lovely switch. Lovely switch. Just takes a little bit of pressure off the next visit. Kiewish needing something rather vast to get into the same range. 60. Forceful thrower from Australia. Nothing is left behind. As ever, all sorts of outfits being worn by the darts fans here at Lakeside. Over this weekend. Did you have a particular favourite from yesterday? Um, leave that one with me. I saw a bunch of lads turn up yesterday dressed as bacon 60. and eggs. Lorraine, you require 81. Not a sausage in sight. 12 turns it to double six. 75. Kewish looking for a maximum Sorry check. Require 170. To take the first leg of this second set. Not going to happen. So Lorraine will be back, and the first decision is whether to go to double two or go straight at double three. Lorraine, you require six, six required. Doesn't hesitate. Only one route left. That for double one. No wow. score. That missed by a little way. Tori, you require so 142. She remains on six. Tori needing 142. She also doesn't have a checkout. 64. And so Hyde gets another opportunity. I think she'll go straight for the double three again. Tori, you require six. No change of plan here. Back up top again. No oh, score. That doesn't help. And she's fairly. Tori um, requires nice 78. Way, uh, put it. She's fairly. Well, she's not amused. Treble 14 would leave double 16. 38. Double 20 leaves her on tops. Lorraine oh. requires six. Third time of asking. Third time lucky. No luck in this game. You make your own luck. Can she find one double one this time? There's the single. Four. That was a much better try. Tori, you like require it, 40. Again, the shake of the head. 40 then for Kewish. Double top. Game and shot she's on the first leg. Well, she never Tori looked like Kewish. winning that leg until she did. Bit of a bonus. But now Second she's only two legs away from winning this match. Game on. And funnily enough, John, I've just been looking back at Tori's best run in a World Masters. She made the last 16 at the Circus Tavern. 100. The last ran the World Masters, still held by John O'Shea in the men's, still held by Lisa Ashton in the ladies, but in the last 16, Tori Kiewish lost to Dieter Hedman, who is the prospective opponent from the winner of this match. Well, I'm sure Dieter will remember that very clearly. She's always the, the good sport, and she'll not emphasise the point, but she'll know that. 40. In the next round, Dieter lost to a certain Kasumi Sato of Japan. We were introduced to the next phase of Japanese darts after the great Makuru Suzuki started to dominate. Well, that's a maximum for TKO. It's the first of the match. And the crowd respond. 85. I do believe that Mrs. Suzuki is in the crowd today, just soaking up a bit of atmosphere before she plays tonight against Laura Turner. 96. I say the crowd respond. The crowd responds before people start criticizing my grammar. 170 would have been good. Kuish is on that mark. 100. Tori, you require 170. That serves me right. I don't think we've had a 170 at the lakeside from a lady. Um, I don't believe so. It doesn't spring to 
doesn't spring to mind years. if it's happened. It's in recent times. And it would have been Lisa Ashton, and I'm not sure she has. Got to get another one. But well, that score has put a down under 100. Sorry, you require 122 22. to be within one of winning this match. Treble 18 would leave the bullseye. Little Richard Ashton dines out on that 54. sort of information. I'll have to collar him later on. Lorraine say, required the 95. What is Lorraine going to do with 95? 25 was the effort. That leaves 79. Treble 19 potentially. She now needs an error. Oh, no score. she's caused her own error. That's a massive error. She's busted. She wanted the single Sorry, to leave it on top. 68. And now Kewish, 68. 16, double 16. And this would be another steal. Game and she gets shot it. The second Two in the row. Sorry, Kewish. And Lorraine Hyde must be really hurting about that Third one. Third leg Tory to oh, throw dear. first. Oh, dear. Game it's on. not my day. The fine margins of this game. 68 checkered from Tory, but look at the second dart and how close it was 55. to busting the score on the treble 16. And then she finds the bottom corner of the 32 bed. I think it is going to be Tory's day because the signals point to an Australian victory here. Well, that treble 20 cost her so dear, didn't it? Busting that go when she was trying to just set it up and... And psychologically, that was a 85. big smack. And well, there's the Aussie contingent hoping that uh, Tori Kewish is going to advance. I wonder if her footy 60. team back in Victoria are watching on. I'm sure they'll. Uh, I'm sure they'll be getting messages. Well, she's missing a certain round of her footy. 60 this weekend in Oz. If she keeps playing. And winning, she's going to be missing next week's round as well. Sorry, everybody. But it's our gift and your loss. 140. But it's not over like yet. It. More like it. The rain needs more of that. That's an interesting outfit. I think that was something from Alice in Wonderland. 60. Walking along with Robin from Batman and Robin. Only at the darts. Yeah, why not? Sixty. I'll be fascinated to hear from these ladies after this match to see how they felt during this game. The what you mean as friends? No, just 51. how they felt playing the game that they want to play. They obviously don't feel 100% comfortable, but you have to be exposed to being uncomfortable in these match situations to be more comfortable doing it. And for me, ladies' darts is getting more exposure by the year. It's a fairly sparse crowd, which can't be disguised. 26. And when it's like that, as you'll know only too well, Paul, you know, when there's not too many people there, you hear the individual voices. It can sometimes be a more off-putting atmosphere than it is when the place is absolutely rammed. By the, the way, that's a great effort. What a setup. That was remarkable from Tori Kewish. Never mind TKO. She may KO 60. Lorraine Hyde with his double 16. So this is for the match. 32. 32 needed. Double 16. Double 8 next door. Still. 16. No. The rain Lorraine needs requires something to happen. 96. And it has to happen now. Treble 20 for double 18 would be very sweet to stay in the tournament. She still needs that 60. Can't find it. And Tori comes back for 56. double eight after three mismatched darts in her previous Tory visit. Well, that might 60. be it for Lorraine Hyde. Double four now for Tori Kewish. Oh, wrong no side score. Of the wire. Five match darts missed. Lorraine, you require Lorraine can't believe 40. she's still in. Just think back to yesterday when... The Swede, Andreas Harrison, missed six match darts and lost to Laszlo Kadar. <laughs> no. 20. Oh, dear. Now, Tori Kuish, four attempts. Tori Is she going to nail it 16. now? Double eight. Double four. 
eight. Well, that third dart was a long way out. Eight called by the referee. Lorraine with eight the quiet match 20. Darts gone. She may have to go all the way back to 501 in a second if Lorraine finds double 10. This is where you find out who you really are as a dart player. If you can hold on. And she can't. No score. Almost painful to watch, I'm sure. Even more so for her friends and supporters. Tori, you require eight. No score. Oh. We've all been there. It's the hardest dart Lorraine, you require to execute. 20. Nearest ball. This is good from Lorraine. Nice deep breath. Just focusing Game herself and she needs there. a bit more of that. Lorraine She's hide. very much back in this match now because now we have a little bit of mental torture like for Tori Kiewicz. She has to go Game all on. the way back to the start of a leg and do all of the work again to get another match shot. Well, I'm sure both up there would be saying that was pretty awful. She gets the double that matters and then look, gets it and away with a ton 40. Pressure's off now, isn't it? This is a free hit now for Lorraine 100. Hyde. 100. I do believe that Lorraine Hyde has got a high level of ability. 100. She played in the PDC Women's Series over the last few weeks. She did have a personal best average there of almost 93. That really took me by surprise. I didn't realise that she was capable of hitting an average of that. And that made me realise that she is going in the right direction. Well, she'll be... Uh, she'll be pleased with the way 85. things are going now. Wolfie watching on there. Probably asking, what's that shirt about? I saw Co Stompy at the back in the uh, in the players' lounge. I've not seen him for a while. Yeah, I've seen Co for about five years. Looking forward to bumping into Co. He's one of the great characters. He's he's closing in on his 60th birthday. Still looks fit as a flea. Yeah, he's always been about the Six. weight of a pencil. Pretty much the shape of a pencil as well. With glasses. Lorraine Hyde 58. could well take Lorraine the set. Require 160. First, she's got to get the two legs. Great stuff here. This is a much improved leg. Could be a 15 darter if she finds tops. 96. Good effort. Looked like a different player in this one, doesn't she? It just shows the show and the nerves are, are relieved. It's going to be right back in there with a vengeance, though. Assuming 140. That's a good visit. But Lorraine, you require 20. Lorraine puts this away now. Game there, shot which the she does. 16 dot leg, high. well played. But now it's nerve Fifth time again. Sorry to throw first. Let's see what both girls are made of. There is some scar tissue from this set for Tori. But she's built on very tough stuff. That 140 start was magnificent. Yeah, that's absolutely what she needed. How can Lorraine respond? That's unlucky, just the wrong side of the wire. Well, she'll be disappointed, and you can see the facial expression reflects that to advantage Kuish. When you put your friendship on the line on a stage, 100. your friendship does get tested, John. I've played many a friend on a big stage, and for a good couple of days, sometimes it feels a bit fractious, but you let the wounds heal, and then you move on. 82. I always knew you were not as grumpy as you seemed. <laughs> I never liked playing Mark Webster on the stage. It was always quite awkward for about two hours after. <laughs> 81. Oh, big lad, Mark. You want to be careful. Yeah. Kuish, if she wins this leg, she will take the match. Lorraine Hyde is a long way back. That's going to help. She needs another. No. 66. Big miss. This is a very good opportunity now to win this match by two sets to nil for TKO. It's a great first start. And I think it was very big that she found a single 20 with that second dart. It meant that she couldn't bust the score, meaning the 140 gives her tops for her 10th match dart. Well, surely she's 45. not going to blow it again now. Tori, you require 40. Surely Tori. 
Double ten, that's a big miss. Should be a good marker. Oh, and she's overcompensated. I don't mean to keep bringing it up. That's 12 now. She can't believe it. But she's got this big buffer of 255 points. And nobody wants to be stuck on double five. 47. She's got plenty of time. She could even split this for double two Three if she chooses. 10. I think she's going straight at it. Game. And she's Shots. not only gone straight Avalanche. at it, she's nailed Sorry, it. And so the pride of Scotland.